Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. This will be using Hong Kong old style scoring. I had another video published today, but there was a false Mahjong in it. Thank you, Brandon, for pointing that out. Sometimes when you're playing, you can't see the trees for the forest. So I'm gonna play again. I have all my tiles out back here and they've been mixed. I'm going to place the hand for east on the table and then south, west, and north will be behind east and on these risers. So player one, two, three, four. And that'll be important to remember for discarding as well as for flowers because flowers, depending on which one it is, can bring score. Speaking of which, we're gonna play with a two fawn minimum. So here are the tiles for east. They get 14, and I'm gonna get 13 for each of these. Make sure that you have enough. I like to set them up like this so that I don't have to count again as a sanity check. Four on each side, six in the middle for east. Four on each side and five in the middle for the other three. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's see what each of these players is gonna go for. Here's East. <clears throat> Not a single flower, check that out. Okay, we need to come up with score. Look at all those dots. There's a couple of honors that we can leverage. There's a pair. There's only two pair. I would hold these for as long as possible. If I paired up, we could play all pung. All pung is three fawn. Right now they have no flowers, so that's a fawn, but that is a risky fawn to bank on because the minute they draw a flower, that goes away. And if that flower is not the seat win for that player, then that negates that fawn completely. So I would say probably half flush. It's gonna be um, challenging though because there's five discards. Four discards is stronger, obviously. The fewer discards you have towards your plan, the better. So we'll see what happens there. The nice thing is we could pung that and then there are chow tiles in here. If we get another dot or honor, one of these paired up maybe, then their hand would be set. So if they draw well, they could play into a half flesh pretty easily. All right, let's check out what South has. South has two flowers, a one and a two. One belongs to East, so that doesn't count, but this is their flower, so they have a fawn already. We're gonna go ahead and put their exposures to the right and the upper area there. East will go in the lower right, west will go in the lower left, and north will go in the upper left. So we're gonna take two replacements for those flowers for south, and we'll look at what they have to work with here for the rest of their hand. So they do have a pair here of BAMs, and their major suit is BAMs. That basically just means to me that they have mostly BAMs. If they were to try for half flesh, that would be a three fawn hand. And if we have a two fawn minimum, that's gonna be a key. Now, because they already have one fawn, they could go for all chow. This could be their pair. This is a potential chow, or this is a potential chow. The nice thing about this potential Actually, no, that's a, That's an inside weight. So that's not, that's gonna be rough. Both of these are inside weights. And that means that your chow tile is going to be in between the two that you have. That's a specific tile, so that's a bit of a challenge. So I think I'd probably go ahead and throw the three dot away first because they potentially could play all chows to get that second fawn. Here's a potential chow, potential chow, 
potential chow, potential chow, and there's their pair. Four sets and a pair. So they're actually set with an all chow hand. Throw away this three dot first. So let's see what happens. They basically have two discards if they play all chow. So that's, I think, what we're going to do here. It's a low scoring hand, but if you play quick, you can go on to the next hand and maybe you'll be set up for a higher scoring hand. And for Hong Kong style, any win is a good win. I think that's true for any Mahjong, actually. But with a low scoring hand, I consider it to be a quick win to move on to the next hand, which hopefully will be bigger. All right, let's look at West. West has a couple of dragons. If they don't have a major suit, they're gonna have a rough road to haul because those honors, which are wins and dragons, are singles. It's nice if you get a pair, kind of like here, because then you can act on it. These, you, you have to wait and draw into them. Okay, so they have a big challenge here. They have no flowers, which is a fawn. And I think they're set up more for all chows. Here's a chow. Here's a potential chow. This is an outlier or isolated. You can do nothing with that right now. This is a potential chow and this is a potential chow. So there's one, two, three, four sets. If they chow really quick before they draw any flowers that aren't a number three flower, they can win with all chows and no flowers. That would be too fun. So let's see what we can do for North. They have a flower, a number one. That is not their flower. They are a number four. So they have the flower for this player. We're going to go ahead and expose it, put it on the upper left, and take, an, take a replacement. They have all, uh, they have a pair of North. Ooh, that's really nice because that is their seat wind. This is player East, South, West, and North. North has a pair of North. If they pung that, they can get a fawn for that. So they, they should probably, they have one flower that's not there. So they need to come up with another, another fawn somewhere. They have two isolated tiles. These can do nothing for them. This is a chow already. Then they have a potential chow, a potential pung, or a pear. I mean, they're kind of in a tough situation too because they have mixed suits and just a single value pair. We'll have to see what happens there. Let's go ahead and start by discarding. I'm gonna throw a three crack and I'm just gonna throw it randomly in the back. So now we're gonna draw for South. To help me keep track of whose turn it is, I'm gonna use a marker. So just grab some kind of a marker so that you can use it kind of like on a game board. When it's your turn, you use a marker. Do something like that. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna draw for this player, South. They got a four bam, so let's keep that. This could be a, a good potential chow there. Um, I would keep the East because now they have, a, they have all these BAMs. They have a potential Pung, potential Pung, potential Chow, potential Chow. And you need to get four sets in a pair. So here's a potential one, two, three, four sets. All they need is a pair. Right, we'll get rid of the three dot. Now we're gonna draw for West if nobody can take that tile and nobody can take that tile. You cannot take a chow tile from the player unless it, they're on your left. So nobody could take that three anyway. If, for example, you see here there's a four or five, the three was discarded by West, which is the player across from East. They cannot take a chow tile from West. They can only take a chow tile from North. So we're gonna go ahead and draw for West. They got an eight bam. If they're playing all chows, that's okay. Let's get rid of this two bam. 
that's isolated. They could do nothing with that. And let's go ahead and draw for north. Oh, now, look here, two bam. They have to decide if they want to pung it or hold off and play a half flush. They have potential chow. There's a chow or there's a chow, either way. Pung, they need a pair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. There is another two bam out. I'm gonna wait. I'd rather play the higher scoring hand. And they're only four away. Let's see if we can get them to a half flush. Let's draw for north. Did I draw? No. Two crack, that's a discard. And nobody can take a two crack. So we're gonna draw for east. Four bam. Let's get rid of the nine bam. It's isolated. At least here they could chow, but they're kind of, they do have a potential chow. Here's a chow, here's a chow, there's a pair. They need something here. They still have three discards, three to four discards. Four discards for a higher hand and three discards for a cheaper hand. We'll see what happens. But they, yeah, they're kind of in between. Let's draw four south. Oh, they got a two crack. Now they have a pair. Let's see, let's get rid of the four crack because maybe they could play all pung. One, two, three, pair. If they get another pair, they could play all pung. All pung is three fawn. Let's draw four west. They got a white dragon. It's pretty, but it's not gonna do them any good as a single tile. So they have to decide what to do. If they play all chows, they have one, two, three, four potentials. Let's go ahead and get rid of the east. Let's have them play all chow. We'll draw for north. They got a seven dot. That's cool if they can get to a half flush over there. Let's show the three bam. And nobody can take a three bam. So let's draw for, actually technically this player could take a three bam right here. I think I would wait. I'd rather draw for a bigger hand. Four crack, discard. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. Okay, let's draw for south. They got a white dragon. That might help them get to a half flush. Let's get rid of the eight dot and draw for west. Nobody can take that eight dot. They got a one crack. Let's get rid of the white dragon. They still don't have a flower, so they're good with that no, a fawn for no flowers. So let's draw for north. Oh, they got a white. So there's already a white out, but let's try to get them to a half flush. Let's throw the six bam and we'll draw for east. Nobody can take a six bam. We drew a seven bam. Jeez. All right, let's go ahead and discard this four bam. And we can draw now for south. So you'd think, okay, here's a three, four, five. You could take that four bam for a three, four, five, but it would leave an isolated four. If you have a chow, why break it just to leave the same scenario or an isolated tile? I think we should draw. They got a green dragon. That could bring score. Let's get rid of the nine dot. And now we're gonna play for west. West has a seven, nine. So we could chow that, but east has a pair. Pungs take precedence over chows. East is gonna pung that tile. So we're gonna take that and put it over here to the right. And we're gonna discard a six bam. We're gonna come up here to south. South can take that for a chow. Here's a five, seven. So let's chow for south. 
So I put that over there. There's their chow. And we're going to now discard. There's a white out. I think I would try to hold. Well, no, they already have. They're going to go for all chow plus their flower. There's a white out. Let's throw the white and draw for west. So this can be their pair. Potential chow, potential chow, potential. They have all kinds of potential. Let's get rid of these dragons. Green dragon. So they need to chow. Let's draw four north. Nobody can take that green. They got a two dot. Oh, that's a good one. Let's sacrifice this chow because it's off suit. And they have, they're really set up here for chows and a half flush plus their seat wind. That's going to be a good hand if they can get there. Six crack. It's a challenge when you play a big hand and there are players playing low scoring hands because typically the low scoring hands are quick as far as achieving their win. The bigger hands typically take longer to build. So that's a risk that they're taking there. All right, so a six crack was discarded. Nobody can take a six crack. So let's draw for east. They drew a five dot, that's, that's nice. Get rid of the seven bam and nobody can take a seven bam. So we're gonna draw for south. South got a three bam. Let's get rid of that two crack. Yes, it's a pair, but we're sacrificing so that they can play a half flesh. That's gonna improve their score by getting rid of this off suit. Anytime you have a chow, in one suit and then you try to you consider making an exposure with a different suit you're going to drive your score down by three fawn so we're going to sacrifice this pair to crack and it's now this player's turn although this player here they're ready to pung 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 all they need is a pair so we're going to draw now for west they though have a one three they could take that two crack that was just discarded and make a chow. So we're gonna do that. We'll make a chow over here. So here's their chow right there. I'm gonna put it on the lower left. And now we're gonna discard the red dragon. And we're gonna now draw four north. They got a red dragon. Let's see, we're trying to get them to a half flesh. Let's just hold that and throw the seven crack. Nobody can take a seven crack, so we're gonna draw for east. Six crack, that's a discard. They're playing dots or pungs. Let's discard the six crack and draw for south. Nobody can take that six crack. You might say, well, why can't this player take it? They have a four or five. They could take the six crack. They could if this player discarded it, but east and west sit across from each other. You cannot take a chow tile from only from, you can only take a chow tile from the player to your left. So South would have had to throw in that six crack. That's the problem. Okay, they got a one dot, that's a discard. And nobody can take that one. Oh, I take that back, look, two, three. We're gonna chow. So it's West's turn, they chowed. Now they have two chows out. So now they have to decide. They gotta break up one of these because they already have two sets. They only need two more. So let's look and see what's out. There's a nine bam out. There's a six bam out. There's a pung of nine dots out. No six dots are out though. Let's get rid of the eight dot since the nine, nine dots are out in an exposure. So this will be their next discard. And let's go ahead and draw four north. They got a seven bam, that's a discard and nobody can take that so we'll draw for east. One dot, that gets them to their half flush. Let's sacrifice that two bam. And now we're gonna draw for West. Now West technically could take that. They're playing either half, well, they're playing a half flush basically. Let's, uh, how many two bams are out? There's two two bams out. If we take that two bam for a chow, it's gonna leave this one for a chow. And we'll use that two bam here. There's another two bam out already. There's only two more left. So the chances of this player getting a chow tile from this player and there are only two left, that chance is pretty slim. I think I'd rather hold for a pung. Let's draw. Four dot discard. 
we're going to draw for south. I mean, we're drawing for west. Okay, so they have a pair. They have two pair here. They can do either way. They can do a chow. They could do a chow here, and either one of these could be their pair. So let's go ahead and discard a seven dot. Also, oh no, yeah. Okay, moving on. So we threw a seven dot. So he, up here, this player can chow that right here. Five, five, six, seven. Let's chow. So they now have a chow here from west. North can take a chow from that player. We're going to discard an eight crack. And now they're cleared to one suit with honors. So that's, that's an achievement there. They have all those scary tiles to get rid of, though. Although there's two whites and a red out, these are really safe tiles um, somewhat. Okay, so we're now going to draw for east. Okay, they drew a south. Let's get rid of this offsuit tile, two bam. And now we're going to draw for south. They got a three flower, so that's not helpful for them. We'll draw. They got another three flower. So that, that's kind of a bummer up here, because if they draw a flower, both of their flowers are out. They're going to be in trouble if they, if they draw a flower now. Okay, so I just drew in another flower, so we need a replacement. Red dragon, there's already one out. Let's throw it. And we're going to draw four west. They got an eight bam. So let's see, that could be the pair. I mean, either way, they have mixed suits right here. They have a one, a one, two, three crack, one, two, three dot. So they're playing all chow. If they try to pung, they're going to have now a zero point hand. Anytime you mix chows and pungs with mixed suits, that's zero points. That is called a chicken hand. You don't want to do a chicken hand. So I think we were better off without it because we can still chow, uh, chow the four, five. We can let this be the pair and chow the seven, eight, or let this be the pair and chow the five, seven. Either way, they have options. So let's get rid of that eight, bam. And then we're going to draw four north. Okay, they drew in a south. This white dragon is a safe discard, so we'll throw that and draw four east. There's a six bam. We'll just discard the six bam and draw four south. Now, for the six bam, there are two out, and this player up here needs that six bam. Let's go ahead and draw four south. They drew a north. They need to start getting rid of these scary tiles here. Let's get rid of this two crack first and draw four west. They drew a two dot, that's a discard. Two dot and nobody can take it. We'll draw four north. They got a three dot. So they're playing half flush, so that's gonna be helpful. Let's get rid of this red and draw four east. Eight crack, discard. Nobody wants it. Draw four south. Nine crack, discard. West, five dot, discard. North, chow, five, six, seven. So now they can discard these. They're fresh, nope, there's an east out. Let's get rid of the east. All right, and we'll draw four east. Two bam, that's a discard. Drawing for south, one dot, discard. Drawing for west, two crack. Okay, either way, this two, four, they need a three crack. Even without it, they need a three crack or a six crack. So this is a good discard for them. Two crack, and now we're gonna draw for north. They got a two flower. That won't help them necessarily. We're gonna draw. A replacement. They got a five crack. That would be a discard for them. And we're going to draw four east. One crack. Discard. Drawing for south. 
they drew a south. Let's get rid of the green. There's already one out. We're going to draw now for west. They got a four crack. So now they have a pair there, pair here, pair here, but they're going for chows. They need chows. I think they were better off without it, four crack. This has flexibility. So let's draw four north. They got a south. That could be a pair, a pair or a pung. Let's throw the west. We've got a discard with a west and we're gonna pung it for south. And now they're gonna discard. Let's get rid of the south. And it would be west turn, but north has a pair of south, so we're gonna pung it. And now we're gonna discard a two dot. They're ready to win on either a north or a three dot. So they just threw a two dot and it's east turn. They got an east. South is now a safe tile because there's a pung out, so we'll discard that and draw four south. South got a good tile. They could pung each one of those. Let's throw the north mahjong up here, right there, mahjong. There's the pair. And they have two flowers that are not theirs. Okay, so north one, half flesh plus their seat win. So that's three, four, four fawn. Did I do better this time, Brandon? I hope you're proud of me. If you see something that I do in these games that you would do differently, or if I make a mistake, call me out on it. I'm learning too. You can never stop learning this game. You're always on a learning curve. It's great fun. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any potential strategy or insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, using Hong Kong old-style scoring, may all your picks be keepers.